Oh, don't get too scared. <laughs> Dracula and his son. The scene was rocking, though we're digging the sounds. Hey guys, J5 3518 here on an anime chat. Ooh, I'm sorry. Anime horror chat with J5 3518. I thought we'd get into gory anime, which are some of the goriest animes I've seen. It could be an episode, it could be some of a series. Most of these I've seen most of these series. So these are the top goriest I've seen because this is my, remember, it's my list. I think these are the goriest animes I've ever seen in my life. Number six, Helsing. Even Helsing Unlimited. And I want to put the original because the other one has more blood, but that's like hardcore blood. This was where it all started. Gore, violence, vampires biting each other. Yeah, screw you, Twilight. You wish you did that shit. Anyway, Helsing is about Alucard, an anti-vampire hunter who hunts the undead for a family. And as you know, with the name of the title like that, do you expect blood? Hell yes. Yes, there's a lot of blood, gore, stabbing. A lot of blood deteriorating, guts flying out. Oh, my God, this is a sight for the senses. When I saw this, folks, when I was 13 years old, oh, I did not know that my mind would be blown a few years later after seeing this great series. Helsing, vampires to the nth degree. Hell, yes, damn it. Number five, sorry. Remember when I said episodes? Yeah, I started with Tokyo Ghoul, another violent film. A violent anime series that recently got popular over the seas. This is a story about humans and demons living ghouls living amongst each other, hiding in human skin. So, I got to like that. Do you expect a happy anime where the ghouls become best friends with humans? No, we don't play that Casper fucking shit. I'm sorry, we don't play that way. Gore it up, people. Gore it up. Yes, there are gorings, there's ripping of intestines. Oh my god, it's like if Mortal Kombat was an anime. Oh my god, it was amazing, it's beautiful. It's creepy, it's it's demonic, it's psychotic. It's amazing to get my gore senses going. <laughs> it even gets me in a contact high. <laughs> Trust me, you, do you think a kid would survive this? Put that kid in the corner for a good hour, because you're going to have some hardcore awesomeness. Tokyo Ghoul. The only place in Tokyo I would never go. When the apocalypse happens. Number four, Attack on Titan. Do I need to mention why it's gory as fuck? Come on. You see people get eaten like graham crackers, for fuck's sake. They pluck them up like vegetables. <laughs> oh. mm. Humans tasty like crackers. There's points where titans bite half people's bodies off. They eat horses like it's potato chips. Jesus. They have a point where they beat each other to death. Why is Attack on Titan violent? Because it is. The drama and the action picks up just as much as the gore. It may not be intense, but the word ginormous really helps in that factor. Giant limbs, people getting de decapitated, spines coming out. It's, it's humanity at its worst. So what do you do with the disaster anime? Then give the goriest one we've ever seen. Attack on Titan. And you know why? Because size matters. Number three. Higurashi, when they cry. People, the last two or three entries were good, but when I mention Higurashi, let me explain something. We're boned. Yeah, we're boned when we hear this anime. This is one of the goriest ones. Man, it's gory. I know it's supposed to be comedy and dark humor, but when it's bloody, man, it's like masochistic bloody. God, I think Hellraiser would sleep in the closet and not see this blood wrenching. I think Freddy Krueger would have slept in the closet with his mommy, hoping he doesn't have nightmares himself. So you have bloody events from the past, bloody events from the future, and you got some blood in the middle. It's like a dimensional blood orgy? No, that's too dumb. Let's just say there's blood here, blood everywhere. Higurashi, because drama and bloodshed should mix together. Perfectly. Uh, <laughs> Number two, Elven Light. It's basically a story of Diclonius, you know, genetically altered humans that use vectors, little hands that pop out of their out of their minds and kill people, like Michael Ironside in that movie. Um, ooh, what's the movie I like to compare it to? Oh yeah, Scanners. Yeah, I know that movie.
It involves genetics. You know, a cute little person named Neo who sounds like a Pokemon. It's adorable. And having psychosomatic schizophrenia. Come on, blood in the mind. Come on. Dr. House would have a field day with this girl. <laughs> I think Doctor I think Doctor Who would have, have a have a field day on this. It is cutesy and all that, but when it's gory, it's gory. Not to the overload of our number one, because this is legendary to be one of the classics. But Oven Light's right there because the blood delivers where it counts. Oven Light. Because the mind and blood are synced in one. So, what could be number one? You gotta go with a classic. <whistles> Berserk. Guts. The story of Guts, a lone missionary out to kill the devil in medieval times, to kill the devils from the land of hell. Come on, this is medieval stuff. How could you not have blood in here? This is one of the classic gore of anime, and Kenshin wasn't even that bloody. This is a story of a man searching for revenge for the death of his people against the evil tyrants and kings who ruled the demon world. And his friend, Griffin, the story of them becoming best friends and the struggles that he made to become friends with gods. This dude comes out of hell cutting through gods and devils intestines and shit. This dude comes out of it like Dante from Dante's Inferno, the video game. This is a bloody anime. I mean, you see people get decapitated, gutted out. Oh my god. You see demons splat out their organs out. And I'm, not, I'm serious. It's worse than the manga. Oh my god. There's like black ink on the manga. Jesus Christ. It's a bloodbath. But you know what I love about it? It's a tale that's drenched in blood, but told through truth. Guts, the ultimate badass, must also go berserk mode. Yeah, that's also why it's called berserk, because he goes anger mode, like Wolverine. Whenever he is fighting a demon, he unleashes hell and cuts demons and people apart with his giant sword. Here are my honorable mentions. Witchblade. Dragon Ball Z, at some points. Blood, Black Blood Brothers, Hell Girl, Roni Kenshin. Comment below, what are your favorite gory animes? Also, share this with your friends. You can talk to me on Twitter if you want to have more information. Or you can talk to me on my Facebook page, also known as J5318. Hey, again, thank you guys for letting me do this. This is J5318, sign off. And remember, blood's in you. You can come out. Bye-bye.